Hey guys, this workout is standing abs. All you need for this is your body, maybe a light dumbbell, or if you wanna feel like you wanna go up after you've done it the first time, then go a little heavier. Standing means that we're just gonna really use the core in different directions, mainly the obliques and that transverse abdominal. We're gonna start with an alternating knee up. Option to use a dumbbell, or if you're just getting ready for this workout, use your body weight. Hmm. Pulling knee up and then the weight down, like you're doing a crunch to the front here. Inhale, exhale. And mindful in the movement in here. So really feel that you activate the ab muscles when you get into that knee up crunch. Keeping that weight right around that forehead area because we don't need the weight to come down. I want your upper body to come down. Three seconds and then it's a right knee lift. If you wanna add weight to this, reach, knee comes up, pull. Elbow can go outside. You can even transition and go inside, then outside. But uh, think about where you're working here. So if you're focusing too much on the arm, get rid of the weight, right? And really think about that oblique here. Exhale. If your balance is a little off, get by a chair. It right, could be in the kitchen, could be your kitchen abs here. All right, switching sides. Turn that foot, reach up. Brace your core, guys. Pull. Standing abs are just a great opportunity to work differently in the body. And no straining in the neck when we go here, right? Remember, connect, right? Find it, then come out of it. And again, some days, go slower, you can go faster. Feels different. Three seconds, figure eight is coming up. Pick a weight, I'm gonna go just a tiny bit heavier. Figure eight, kind of making that figure eight. Keeping it long. Brace your feet. I'll turn to the side here. Right? Kind of crunch as you go down. Core be thinking about it. It could be smaller, it could be no weight. Bring it down and then up, down and over. Windmill, option to use a weight. I'm just gonna be careful of my back here. So if you have a weight, you're holding it in the left hand, push your hip out and then reaching to the inside of your right ankle here. So we keep this leg straight. The legs are straight here. If you really feel like you need to bend, I would not bend them. I like them straight. That's really the way that this exercise is meant to be performed here. Stacking the shoulders, lift all the way up. Find a range that works for you. When the weight is up here, further away from my body, it's definitely harder versus down in my hand below here. But you can try different things for your body here. Push that hip out. All right, switch it. And then try to see if you can look at the hand that's up here. So push the hip out, I got foot forward, foot turned out. Reaching inside that angle. So you can again, look up to that. This is a great one to check your technique on a mirror when you have a chance. So kind of staying, you got a lot of straight lines here. You're looking up to that hand. Pushing that hip out. Good for some mobility in your shoulder too. 
bracing the core. Look to that hand. Come on, get down as low as you feel that you can for your body. All right, this leg. We're doing a straight leg lift. Shoulders back if you want to have arm up. Have the arm up. I'm not going to add any weight on this one. So if you feel like you want to flex the foot, you can. Lift up and feel the oblique turn on there. Remember, long levers, right? That's more resistance for your body. So the straight leg versus bent knee, it's kind of the same, but a little bit more weight to pull up here in that oblique. All right, switch the legs, roll the shoulders back, lift up, straight leg kick here. Wherever you want this hand, where does it want to go? And again, you can flex the foot. Work on the balance, right? We get really deep in the core and we have to work some balance along with this oblique. Oh. And some mobility in the hip. A lot of great stuff here. A few more seconds, we're gonna do a wood chop with a dumbbell or body weight. All right, wood chop. We're gonna start at that right shoulder, chop it down, shoulder and down. So knee soft. It's over, inhale, exhale. Like a crunch on the down, and then brace on the up. And you know, everybody's got a different range that they're gonna do their chop. But keep your chin off the chest. Depends on the weight of your dumbbell. So if it's really heavy, maybe you're just gonna go a little bit slower. Whew, gets the heart rate up too. I like that one. And then same thing, if you're not gonna do weight, long, long arms. So long arms would make it harder. Over the shoulder, outside the knee. If you're ever chopping wood, let me know. I need some, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's going to be fire season soon. <sighs> Keep a little bend in the knees, right? You can have more or less, right? Everybody's different here. <sighs> One dumbbell and we're just twisting. <sighs> I think I'm going to go a little lighter. Here. So just twisting side to side here, twist, twist. Feet can be shoulder width, or if you feel like you want them wider, go a little wider. But rotate as much as you can. It depends on how you want to turn. If you want to turn your whole body, I'm going to try to keep my head facing forward. And just work that waist here. We get one move after this. Oh. oh yeah, she just saw what the move was. <laughs> yes, we got high knees coming up. Three, two, one. <laughs> Gives you a little stretch in your back when you do the high knees. Think of it that way. Get some length here. <laughs> so start with the knees not so high, and then when they get a little warm, bring them up to the chest. Feel like you're pulling up and in in the core. They don't have to be fast. Just bring them up high. How are we feeling back row? Everybody's good. We're there, come on, finish it up. Ten seconds. Three, two, 
One. Woo, you're done. Oh, let's do a nice reach it up and over. Woo. Oh. And switch up and over. Reach it up and back. Oh. Pull down through your heart center. That's it, you guys. Standing abs, great job. Woo.